Good morning, everyone. I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to come to you this week to give you today's children's message. I come to you today from Heritage Presbyterian Church, one of my favorite places, the kids' room or the nursery. You know, nurseries are great places. There's all kinds of toys and fun things for the, our younger kids of a congregation. You know, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but Mr. Ted is a short person. Yes, that's right. I've always been short. And when you're a tiny person, when you're a little kid, or even when you're a short person who's an adult like myself, sometimes we feel like we're at a disadvantage. When I was younger in elementary school, I was always the shortest person in school. And even when I was in high school and college, I was always one of the shortest people around. When I played sports, I swam and I played soccer, I was always the shortest person. And a lot of times you get to feel as though as a short person, as someone who's tiny, you can't do as much. But what I've learned through my life is an important lesson, and it's one that comes from the Bible as well, that small things can be mighty and powerful. And I'm going to go ahead and share a message with you today that Jesus tells us, but I also wanted to take a look today about a project that looks a little overwhelming, and how can I do this project all by myself? Well, I'm here one of my favorite places, the playground at Heritage Presbyterian Church. And there is a lot of work to be done. Oh, man, I don't know how I'm going to get all this weeding done. It's just me. Uh, there are weeds everywhere. Well, that's a little overwhelming. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and get started. Well, I've been working for a few minutes. And I've got a little bit done here. But this is going to take me forever. This is a little overwhelming. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Today's scripture story comes to us from the book of Matthew, and we've been working through the parables. And if you remember, a parable is a story that Jesus tells us to help teach us about something. And today he talks about having faith like a mustard seed. And I brought a peppercorn with me because I didn't have a mustard seed, but it's as tiny as a mustard seed. It's very, very small. But I'm going to go ahead and show you a video which explains what Jesus was trying to say to us when he said that even if we have faith like a mustard seed, it can grow into something amazing. Hey kids, have you ever thought about the size of your faith? If it was like a pair of shoes, would it be toddler size, kid size, or adult size? Do you think the size of your faith matters? Well, Jesus had some very important things to say about the size of your faith. He didn't want people to feel bad about how little faith they had. Sometimes followers of Jesus wondered if he was smart enough or big enough, or strong enough. Whenever they had those thoughts, it showed that their faith was small. But Jesus wasn't worried about it, because he knew a secret. Even just a teeny bit of faith is enough for God. Did you know that? Can you believe it? God doesn't need you to be a superhero of the faith, who can fill some really, really big shoes. He just needs you to have a little bit of faith. And he can do a lot with it. The apostles said to the Lord, Show us how to increase our faith. The Lord answered, If you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, May you be uprooted and thrown into the sea, and it would obey you. Did you know that the mustard seed is really, really small? They're tiny. I have like five of them right here. They're so small. I promise. That's why Jesus used them in his parable. Have you ever helped your parents plant in a garden? You use the little seeds in the packet. And after you water it and care for it, eventually it turns into a tomato or a pumpkin or a mustard. That's how seeds work. And that's how faith works. You see, a little faith in a big God is a big deal. Believing in Jesus isn't about how smart or great or faithful we are. It's about how great God is. That's why a little faith goes a long way when we put our faith in the right place. Have you put your faith in Jesus? If so, you can trust him to grow that faith a little more every day.
So the good news for us in all of this is that we don't need to have a gigantic, huge faith. We just need to have a little faith. And Jesus knows that the power of God is more powerful than anything. So when we feel small, when we feel tiny, it's okay. God is okay with that. And so I thought, a good idea. How could I get this work done? So I put out an email to the youth group. And guess what? My faith paid off. They showed up. And I want to show you some pictures of the work that they did at Heritage's Playground. Youth from Heritage Presbyterian Church and Perry Highway Lutheran Church showed up on a day that they had off. It was a hot day and the work was hard, but they continued to pull the weeds one by one. And what we find out is that working together, having faith, can help a what seems like a very, very difficult project go by quickly. They did a great job and our playground looks all the better because of it. And seeds really are tiny little things. But what's amazing to think about is that that tiny little seed can grow into something huge. And I take a look at this gigantic tree back here. That that tree once started as a tiny little seed. And then if we take a tiny little seed and we give it everything that it needs, nutrients, water, it can grow into something big and something mighty. Please bow your head for repeat after me prayer. Dear God, we thank you for your son Jesus, who teaches us to have faith. Help us to remember to remain faithful even when times are tough. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, as always, I love this time that I can come and talk with you each week. I hope you and your families are all happy and healthy, and I can't wait to see you all soon. Have a great week, guys.